Hi, my name is Betty. Thank you for joining me today. You may know me from Bodacious Betty Pinup Photography or Boudoir Betty. Um, one of the things that I want to talk to you today is about the difference between a consumer canvas and a canvas from a professional photo lab. You may have always thought that there was no difference. Um, perhaps you took that photo that you downloaded from Facebook and tried to make a canvas of it or you have some favorite snap snapshots um, that you've had printed out um, at your big box department store, um, your local drugstore, maybe you took that Groupon and uh, made a, a canvas. So one of the first things that I notice about this particular canvas um, is that the back is not finished. That's not uncommon in a consumer canvas. Um, a lot of times you'll see that the canvases have actually been stapled to the back. This particular one was glued, um, which is nice and taut for now, but obviously if it ever comes unglued, I'm going to have to hope that I can glue it back on. Um, same thing if they're stapled on there, you know, sometimes they're not pulled tight or they are pulled tight and they get stretched out when you try to staple them back. Another thing that I noticed too is that the color is off. I'm going to hold these up. I'm going to try to hold these up side by side for you so that you can see the striking difference in color. Um, this is not as saturated, but it is darker. The color tones are just way off. Um, and unfortunately, because there are so many variations in consumer labs and there is no way to guarantee any consistency, that's going to happen a lot with a consumer canvas is that the skin tones may be off by quite a bit um, between the, your professional photo and the photo that ended up on the consumer canvas. Um, and of course, one of the major differences too that I noticed is that the picture just isn't quite as crisp and as clear. Um, it doesn't look pixelated, probably because it's on canvas. If it were on print, it would be way more obvious, especially um, given this, this is a little bit larger in size than a typical um, print. So, um, the other thing too that I would expect is that this will probably fade if this is hung in a room with a lot of sunlight. The nice thing about a professional lab canvas is that they do use archival inks, so you're not going to have that fading if you want to take your canvas and put it in a nice bright room. Um, and I'm not knocking consumer photo labs. They obviously serve a purpose and I think they're great for family snapshots um, and stuff that you want to have photo prints of. But I think that if you are putting the time and energy and money into a professional sitting, it pays to actually have photo products that are going to last you for years to come. Um, and in this case, you really do get what you pay for. So here, I, here we go. I'm actually going to show you the difference. So here is the professional canvas. And of course, one of the first things that we notice when we turn it over is that it has a fully finished back. Um, it comes with the wire already ready to hang, which means less work for you. Um, there are staples on this backing, but this canvas has been stretched extremely taut and attached to the frame before this backing was ever stapled on. Um, and of course, the other thing that we notice is the rubber bumpers, um, which are going to prevent the wall from being marked up when you hang your lovely canvas. This has a significant amount of weight to it. It doesn't feel flimsy at all. Um, one of the other things that I notice, and that you should notice also, is that the sides are pretty seamless with the rest of the photo. Um, on a consumer canvas, sometimes there's a lot of cropping and they may not always be able to make the wrap seamless. Um, and of course, the big thing here, when I hold these up side by side, is gonna be the color. So I'm gonna do the best I can. Hopefully you can see the color difference side by side. I don't have a photo assistant to help me hold everything and move everything around. It should be glaringly obvious. You know, the, the photo on the bottom, she's got warm skin tones. She looks great. The top one, it looks really muddy, dark, um, just looks 
pretty bad. Um, but unfortunately, as I said, with some of these consumer labs, you do get a lot of that because there's no way for them to ensure any sort of consistency. Um, and also, if I didn't mention it before, I would expect that the consumer canvas is going to have some fading at some point, especially if you put it in a room with a lot of sunlight, um, versus the professional canvas, which is printed with archival ink um, and is not going to fade, so you can hang it in that nice sunny bedroom of yours and it will look great forever. So that's everything. If you have any questions on anything, please let me know in the comments below, and thanks for watching.